everybody, Heather from Hooked on Pickin'. We are here with auction treasures. I know it's been a few weeks since you've seen some, but we're going to do something really fun. We would love for you to silently bid on some of these items because not everybody can attend the four-hour auction we do on Fridays. And so if you would like any of the items that I unbox, we're going to number them so that it'll be easier for you to signify which one you want. So we still will announce the top five on our auction tomorrow, but you have until 11 o'clock Central Standard Time to tell us what you want and how much you want to pay for it. So let's go ahead. We don't even know what's in some of these boxes, but we got a crazy metal art piece here. So let's find out what else is in these boxes. Okay, first off, we wanted to tell you that we just did a full-on blast and put a whole bunch of new stuff in our weekly specials category with lower prices. So we're trying to make room for all of the palettes we got coming in and all the Christmas items we're going to have for sale. Not just Christmas theme, but like toys and housewares and all that fun stuff. So check out weekly specials. We're doing kind of a big blowout special. We're going to have a bunch more stuff in there, so check that out. All right. Weekly specials where? Oh, on hookedonpicking.com. Oh, yeah. We have a website, by the way. <laughs> Hookedonpicket.com, go to weekly specials, you'll find all the deals. Let's go ahead and unbox. Let's do it. All right, what do we got? Got some old camera parts, it looks like, right here. Ooh, and paperweights. Tweet, tweet. It's a glass birdie. It's a glass birdie. So, paperweights are super expensive. They this can one be. This one says perfume something. Perfume. Chicago. That's weird. Can't be yeah. a perfume topper. It's not a perfume topper. All right, this is, isn't this like a... Camera, camera box, yeah, Brownie Junior, six twenty. There you go. And then we've got the little flash thing here. I think the flash goes with that one there, but I could this be wrong. One, this one's a Kodak. That's an old Kodak. It is an old Kodak. I don't know how these work. I'll probably break it if I try to open it. And then here's another paperweight. I like bubbles. Does it have any name on the bottom? Uh, no. Uh, uh. Nope. Okay. All right. Not bad. Uh, Dad has been going to auctions, and then when they went to Branson, they stopped at different, oh, flea markets and garage sales and all bunch of stuff uh, between here and Branson, and try to pick up some good stuff for you guys. So. Let's go for a walk. This is kind of cool. I like it. So anyway, um, what we're going to do is we're going to make sure you stay tuned to the end so you can see all the fun things, but then we're going to number each every item so that you can say, hey, I want number one, number 15, number 23, and I'm willing to pay, you know, $20 for that or $50 or $2,000. $15,000. $15,000. Yep. You know, I think this could be one of our top five. That is kind of a cool So we're going to announce the top five of all of our items um, on the auction tomorrow. But you have until 11 o'clock Central Standard Time. We're Absolutely. Put that further down here and we'll go ahead and... Number everything at the end of the video and you can say what you want. You're going to send all the emails for your silent bids to hookedonpicking at gmail.com. It's at the very top of the description in this video. There's Flash. It looks like a few of those are used, but not all of them. There's four. Still good. Kodak, Kodak Trim Light Instamatic. Boy, cameras have changed, haven't they? Yes, they have. They definitely have changed. All right. Then we've got a bunch of like... This, I believe, is Guardian wear, if I remember my auction stuff. Guardian service. Yep. Yep. So, a couple of used trays. to be real popular. I don't know how popular it is. I haven't seen it in a while. Um, but that, well, You saw it a lot in Iowa. Oh, yeah. In Iowa, we, it, it was... I'd see people fight over it at auctions all the time. And there's the emblem there. Guardian service wear. Oh, here you go. It's all aluminum, I believe. Look at this. That's cool looking. What is this? Is it a waffle maker? Or a, it's just like a... Pan yes. that you can flip over. Something. It's Works amazing. Let's see, we got a lot of pieces here. Holy buckets, look at that thing. That's a, that's a coffee pot if ever I saw one. So it's got like a percolator thing. And this is the lid. Careful, that might be glass. It is. Yeah. Glass little nut. That is a cool piece right there. It's a really neat piece. I'm gonna put this back around it. Back in the day I could see people fighting over that right now. Yep. Yeah, another. Oh, here's another. Bunch of other Guardian yeah. wear. Hold on. Now, this lid was already cracked. Yeah. It happens with these things. Yep. And then there's this one. Oop. There we go. This one. 
Usually you'd find them with no lids, but... Oh, these are the handle things. Like you... Somehow I think these try go the, on there. Try the other handles. These? Oh, yeah. There you go. Good call. Kaboom. If it's hot. Yeah. Oh, here's one with not a broken lid. There you go. Cool. And then there's... Oh, and this is how you, like, pick up? Could be. Some of not, not 100% certain about that one. Not sure. Somehow that works. All right, so all that is part of the guardian. A lot wear. of guardian guardian wear there. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if you just want one piece. Let us yeah. know. You don't have to box one. it back up if we're going to put all the numbers on it. Okay, I'll just slide it down. Or we'll just grab a box and bring it down. However, that's true. I'm used to sliding everything down. All right, I'm move this stuff out of the way. Go ahead and go through this box. Got a ton of stuff here. Yep. This may take a while. Hopefully you enjoy. Paperweights, maybe? Yep. Ooh, cool. Oh, it? yeah. I think I will. He's going to grab a chair so that we can... So I can give you a closer. better close-up. That looks cool. No signature that I can see. That's clever. That is really cool. It's kind of a greenish glass. I haven't it looks seen like that. A, kind of a rainforesty feel. Yeah. That's neat. A N W. That's cool. Right by my old high school, we had an A and W. I remember, remember the A and W. They used to have like a little mini jukebox in your booth. Yeah. Yep. I do. Little seal, I think. Paperweight. It's nice. We got a little. That looks old. That's cool looking. Nice. That was all that was in that box. So We're going to try to set this paper. stuff out in a little bit and then number it. Yep. To, uh, to help you with the silent auction. I know occasionally it can get confusing when you're trying to describe it. Cookie pastry press. There you old go. Old new stock. That is old new stock. Then we've got, this is also Guardian there. Oh my goodness, that's a huge glass lid. Shoot, shoot this from the top? Oh my word, guys. We have got some Guardian wear in here. So we'll lay all that out. Tons of glass lids in here. Look at this little here. one here. It's a cute little yeah. deal. Cool. Gonna have to wrap that stuff well for that yep, glass. We will. Okay. Neat. All right. What else? Heather, you look so good in a hat. Thanks. I like you in the hat. I mean, it's a hat day these it's days. It's a hat day these days, she says. Something on the bottom of this? Ooh, there is something on the bottom. It looks like a planter. It does look like a planter. What's it say there? Hager? H E H A E G E R USA made in the USA. It's probably like a eight hundred dollar planner because probably. of the name or something. Came from uh, some rich person's home. Exactly. See Very good. Picture? That's exactly what's in here. Nice. That's like old new stock too. Look at that. That's never been used. Nope. That's really neat. Hot liquids and cold li liquids, it says. Thermal efficiency, guaranteed for five years. Yeah. Yeah, it's totally clean on the inside. Oh, yeah. That's nice, actually. Yeah, it's super nice. Somebody go somebody's going to be like, I used to have one of those when I went to work. My for dad would use one of those. Yeah, for 40 was... years I had mine. Well, right. you can get a brand new one. There you go. One of these. A brand new old one. I think it's all 101 Dalmatians. In this box. That's amazing. Are these McDonald's toys? Kind of look no, like No, I think they're just regular. Look at this one. It's like a Weeble. Yep. They should say if they're McDonald's. Yeah. They're like Weeble Wobble ones. Weebles Wobble. That's what they do. 101 we Dalmatians. Have... We got a gazillion of them. Beep, beep. There we go. Sorry, I'm going to sit here and play with we'll them. We'll probably them. sell them per container is yeah. what I think we'd do. Oh, what's this one? This That's one. how to do it. It's like a snow globe. 
It's a fire cool. hydrant, I think, or something. Yeah. Those are fun. Oh, look, we have two containers. We have of them. two containers. Of, or is this Snoopy? No. Nope. nope. 101 Dalmatians. Here's a Mickey one. We may have 101 Dalmatians. We might actually have. Oh, look, an igloo. Neat. This one. Heather's having a blast. I am. I'm playing with all the toys. Having a blast. Playing with the little toys. Okay, what's this? Is that glass? That's glass. With a wooden... Ooh, I get it. Boy, that's got some age to it, it looks like. Yeah. Yeah. There's a name on this one, too. If I can... Household Ovenware, Household Institute Ovenware, and then something else there. Neat. Does have a couple wingdings here and there. An old bowl, man. Yes, it is. Looks that like that has a name on the back of it. This has a name on it. Yep. Got a plate. Oh, I have a plate that matches that bowl. Two plates. Nortec made See? in Japan. Two oh, you do have a plate that, that matches that. Neat. So there's two plates in the bowl. Two plates in a bowl? Could yeah. sell it as a set. Yeah, I would say for sure. Yep. And then there's some Neat. other couple of things. A couple of little randoms. Yep. Randos got yourself a snowman there. From Debbie Mum. Oh, this looks like this is what this does. Candlestick there. It's got uh, hummingbirds on it. Looks like it's had some melted wax in it. It'll clean up nice, though. Alright. Heather's just blowing through this. She's like, bam. Doing a great job. What? This is... Tubes for like TVs. Oh and radios, my probably. goodness, really? RCA. Their tubes, the most trusted name in electronics, Thanks, RCA. Can I get it out? Again, some old new stock. Yeah. New old stock, See? how are we saying? It's like the tube in there. There it is. You can fix your old TV now. I bet this is hard to come by. It might be. Could just sell the whole box. I don't know what this is. I'm thinking that's works. what I'm thinking that's what I would do too. Yeah. The Zenith. whole box. I remember having a Zenith TV. Mm -hmm. I remember the was on our clicker. Yep. Oh, there's some more. These more are boxes. Dalmatians. It's a snow globe. Hopefully, there's some Dalmatian fans out there. Yeah, I hope so. Because Dad has purchased a ton of Dalmatians. It says Somebody London Herald. Collection. It's hiding underneath a newspaper. Clever. Oh, this is really heavy. Oh, oh my. my. This is stone and glass beads. Oh, man. Holy buckets, Heather. Oh, these are cold. No, these are. I don't think these are stone ones, but boy, those are pretty. This looks stone. Oh, these are though. Yeah, some of these are. Yeah. Just some of these are set. definitely stone. Look at that cool pendant. That might be sterling. Oh look. My it's goodness. It's not marked. There's a couple of them in there. Yeah, that's cold to the touch. Is it? Ooh, so is that. Nice. And there's this one here, too. Those are that cool. would make a pretty puzzle, wouldn't it? Just yes. go click, make yourself a puzzle. That'd be neat. So we'll sell them probably per, um, per container. Per container. Uh, looks like we have not broken jewelry. Not broken jewelry, guys. Two bags of that. These are just the mystery. Yeah. They get so much jewelry from auctions that dad, that mom just says, just after a while, just starts trying to clear, clearance it out, I guess. 
Yeah. Put it all together. Ooh, look at that. This is Whole a really jewelry box. box. Look at the box though. It's like a velvety green. Velvety green. Looks kind of vintage. Yeah. There you go. Got some pearls. Somebody was oh, asking me for bracelet. pearls. Oh, that's, that's nice. Pretty. All right. There you go. All right. Christmas glasses. Christmas glasses. Will be the season here. Yep. Sooner rather than later. Oh. I feel like we've had these guys. The brass quail. Yeah, we've had these guys before. Right, we got the whole set. Yep. I think I've sold an identical set like that. Yeah, we have. Oh, what is this? We found Lassie. Boy, they're, they're heavy. Is that a lion? I thought that was a lion. Made in, is that a lion? I think it's a dog. I found a unicorn. Is it a dog or a lion? I don't, it might be a dog. I'm not sure. This is a lion. That is a lion. And then this is a horse. And then a unicorn. Nice. Cool little pieces there. And let me see. So it feels like a paperweight. These are beautiful. Every time you turn it, you can see something different in it. No signature. Might have been something there at one time. Very cool. Oh, look at that. I feel like that's a rabbit. I think you're right. I think it's a rabbit. But they put some color in there. That's nice. I like that. Oh, we got a fish. Red, white, and blue fish. America fish. Yep. Did we already see this one? Yeah. I okay. I brought it back up. I like this one right here. Looks like, look, get your fish in the ocean. Yep. Blub, blub, man. Beautiful paperweights. He does a good job finding those. He does. All right. Dad can come up with some paperweights. Whoa, look at this. It's like a whole Polaroid case. So it's a whole... Up, are you upside down on it? There you go. There you go. I think it opens this way though, right? Um, mm, maybe not. not. Oh, I think it's the other way, yeah. Of course, of course I don't know either. Oh, oh. like this. Well, there we go. You were right. Heather, you were right all along. What was that again? You were right. So it's got this part. I don't know some what kind any of, of this stuff is. Looks like is. some kind of charger. It's got the actual Polaroid camera. Goodness gracious. Holy buckets. We're upside down, but it's amazing. Somebody goes going to lose their mind. Yep. Probably some um, film student. Yep. And then we have this piece, whatever this piece is. It's a very pivotal piece to have. The flash. It's very important to have. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Comes with a book and a satchel, the whole deal. That's a really cool piece. It's a trip down memory lane. You can take old timey photos, old timey go. as in 1970 old timey. <laughs> Does that make me an old timey? Oh my. Hello everyone. Look at all the stuff, all the goodies in here. Has a watch too. Mm. My goodness. Ooh, what is this? It's a medallion. My goodness, that's heavy. That is um pirate gold. It's probably some Grecian medallion. Ooh, look at these pretty earrings. Alexander the Great wore totally it last. these earrings. Yeah. And it's got the whole pair. Look, that's not the There's only Some cool part, stuff but... in here. Oh man. So we'll probably just sell this whole jewelry box yep. as one piece. Somebody's gonna get some treasures. Oh, what's this? Dr. Drake's Glesco. Glesco. Specially prepared for children's cough 
Uh, cough, throat, cough throat. Min and minor bronchial irritations accompanied by colds. This is Shall terrifying. Should we take a swig? Uh, no. <laughs> well, you've got the bottle. Please do not ingest the contents yes, of it. Yes, agreed. All right, then we have broken jewelry, two bags of that. A uh, cork bottle opener. Very needed. A wall hook. Always good to have. Okay. Random wall hooks. We're going to number it all here in a little bit. Yep. I guess we really haven't been doing our top five, have we? No. We're going to show you the top five here in just a little bit. Yep. Milk bottle or carafe. This? this is a bicentennial. Is it? 1776 to 1976. Oh, these are planters. That's cool how they did that little ridge there. Got some planters. It's got three buckets. A yellow, a green, and a blue. Kind of got a... Nice little springy feel, doesn't it? Yeah. So I guess you just mount these like that. Yep. But I only have two hooks. I got three buckets and two hooks. There's only two hooks right here, too. That's true. I'm Heather a hooks. hooks and Paul hooks. That's true. That's who we are. That's why we're hooked on picking. If you guys didn't know that. Oh, never mind. Here's the rest of them. Oh, there you go. Whole other set. All right. Then we have Ooh, like a cake, mold. cake molds. The front and the back. Yeah. You can make a bear cake. I want a bear cake. I want a giant chocolate bear. Oh, if we can make a chocolate. Make this mold. a chocolate mold. We could start yeah. selling humongous chocolate bears. We could. It says it's actually. What is it for? Wilton? Yeah. There it is. It's made in Korea, it says. Made in Korea. Right. Oh my, this is like a random tub of miscellaneous. Here's a fun. Oh, it's a nesting. Oh, cool. And more. A little nesting tin. How many tens are in there? Okay, three. Three? There you go. Well, you could get the nesting tens. Looks like a winter village scene yeah. in the nesting tent. It'd be kind of a clever little Christmas thing. Or you could put Christmas cookies or candies in there and send them back to Hooked on Picking. Yep. Um, we would not be opposed to that. Four Paul hooks. That would be good. I would accept it. Florida. Remotes, anyone? We've got remotes. Does this match the other one? Don't know. But that candle's melting. Yeah, the candle looks like the same color as in the other one. We'll have it to might see. match the no, other one. No, because the other one had... No, hummingbirds. You said hummingbirds. Yeah, and hummingbirds. So it's though. the same. Probably okay. got the match set. We got, these are... Uh, hey, these make Uncrustables really good. They do. So Random ten of goodness. Random ten of goodness. Or tote of goodness. What is this? Is this like one of those paper towel holders? I believe it is. Okay. All right. Or it's, a, it's an attitude adjuster. True. Do you like paper or plastic? I'm getting hit when I see these bags. Something wrapped in here. What in the I world? I found is... the treasure. I, I feel should... like I belong in an Indiana Jones movie. It does look like cool, this. Heather. Yeah. Look at the whole scene. Just spin it. It's beautiful. It is. The house there, the little waterfall. My goodness, it is. It's a little home. I love you, Paul. This is really pretty, huh? The heart. Anything on the bottom? No. That's neat. Egg shape deal. Thank you, Heather, for giving me a heart. I give you my heart. Nice. Got a wolf. Random wolf. What, has he just got all kinds of stuff in there? Yeah. We have a collection of wolves. Oh, that's cool. I love the little brass guy. I do love brass. Kind of has a primitive look. Boop, 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 boop. 
This is nice made in piece. Italy, and it says 1979. Made in Italy? Yeah. Maybe pewter. Ultra. Hmm. Got another seal. That's got some weight to it for sure. I love this big egg thing. Uh, the, the big egg thing is pretty pretty cool. Yeah. I'm just going to leave these That's got to be hand painted. This whole tote is full of things like this. Well, let's, let's find these treasures. We must see the treasures. They're all like paper. Oh my. That is cool. Little leather saddle on him. Ooh, look at the eyes on the, on the horse. Just, just a little wire twine done that way. That is so stinking cool. That's amazing, Heather. It's what holding. is that? Does it hold toilet paper, maybe? Toilet paper or paper towels or... Well, th this doesn't move. Doesn't move. No, it stays. Stationary. Well, it can't be that then. Is it just a wall hook where you hang something like a could bag be, or Could be. Could just be for your hat. That yeah. is awesome looking though. Man, is that cool. That is really, really cool. That's that's all wood. Yep. It's really heavy duty too. Yep. Very nice. Then we have this guy. Plate, I think. Hello, everyone. Neat. Heather's digging away. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. It's a cool teapot. Enamel hamel. That's got some age to it. I don't know if it has anything on the bottom. There's an no. electric one. Electric teapot. This is for Forest Oaks, Indiana, I think. Oh my. Founding Fathers, maybe? Or who, who's on here? Second president. It's got the presidents on here, I believe. Here, John Adams. And then, yeah, are these Sterling or? Let's double check here. I'll have to look that up and see if it's Sterling Silver. It'd be awesome if they were Sterling Silver. Neat scenes on them. Hmm. Look at this stuff, how they keep pulling out. Yeah, it's really cool. Oh, there's a matching set. Oh, nice. That beautiful, really cool. beautiful paperweights. Just a little sticker on there. Nice. Is that a stone box? That's either stone or bone. I feel that like it might be stone. I don't, I don't know. know. It could be tell. bone on this one. That's clever. Little vase. Neat. This one. I still got more stuff. Just oh my I'm word! I'm still working through the green tote. That's really cool. This face. Liberty Bell. Move all this stuff out of the way since we've seen it. This is cool. Like I said, if you want any of these items, you can silent bid on them by sending me an email to hookedonpicking at gmail.com. 
Yep. And uh, we're going to number everything that we can which here number a little bit. Of item you want, and how much you're willing to pay for it. Five million dollars for this elephant hook. Absolutely. What is this stuff? Got some old bottles here. I am terrified to know what liquid is in here, Heather. Yeah, there was no... Let me see, what does it say? It says bananas something. Okay. Picture has bananas. Got a mermaid. Always good to have a mermaid wall hanging. Okay, this, this bottle is... Of course, you can... It's, it's a hook right there. These are open, so I'm not going to mess with well, those. Well, that ain't good at all. Yep. Hopefully they didn't ruin nothing. No, they were inside of a plastic bag. So oh, they really good. They haven't touched anything other than what was in the bag. I have no idea what that is. I think is stove handle. Yeah, that's what I was... Cast iron stove handle or might have gone to a... Something hot it would have gone to. Does it have anything on it? Written on it? Yeah. Arctic? I think you're right. I think it is a platform stove handle. Could be. It's a napkin holder. That's a wooden cowboy. Cowboy, cowboy holding a dog. We're still in the green tote, Paul. Red Mill Manufacturing, handcrafted in the USA. That's cool. Very neat. That's cast iron right there. Neat. Feel oh how heavy my, that is. that is a beast. That is heavy. Now this is actually attached, but it spins. That looks like an ink quill. Oh, you're probably right. Put the ink in there. Dab, and then you can put your ink pen there. These random liquid bottles I'm going to put in a plastic bag. Right, That's my those. guess. That's my guess what it would be. There's something that might have been stamped there at one time. It's got age to it though. It's got sand in it. It's like sand art, maybe. Oh, hold on a second. Here we go. Is that a scene? That is beautiful. See the mountains? Oh. That is cool. Somebody did that with sand, didn't they? Mm-hmm. Man. That's Some cream. people are way too talented. Cream and sugar containers. Cream and sugar. Definitely got age to them, too. Mm -hmm. Let's see what it say there. Made in Japan. All right, we finally got through that. Green wow, tote. really? Good that job. Was all in that green tote. Ton of, ton of goodies. What is this? What's in the case? What? Oh, man. The Kennedy half dollar. How much is that worth? Well, half dollar, 50 cents. But this one being 1974, 64? it's probably 1964. It's probably 90% silver. That's glass. Yeah, this is glass. This is a really nice commemorative set. So 64, 7 through 79. We'll have to look that one all up. All the way up to 2007. It'll be on the auction. Yep. Or on the silent bids right now. Yeah. Go nuts on it. Go to hookedonpicket at gmail.com and send us your bids. There's a Coca Cola tray. tray. That's pretty. I like these old scenes. Mm-hmm. Pretty. The Beatles. I've never heard of them. Were they um Mugs? Chris it's about mugs. Christian singing group, I think. They used to sing hymns, right, in churches, I believe? Sure. If, I'm, if I understand. Back before smartphones. Back before smartphones, Navigation hey. Navigation systems, kind of like the TomTom -tom or the Garmin. Might still come in handy. Yeah. Don't know. Uh, what is this? It's got tape on it. That looks like a pickaxe of some sort. Been welded. It has been welded. What is this? Somebody knows exactly what this is. This is a this is a a weapon you want to go into battle with. Yep. Something. 
There you go. We have it. We have your weapon for all those Vikings out there. Bucket organizer. Always good to have. Some cool old school look at these designs. Ooh. Is it a set? No. Oh wow, check that one out. That's kind of cool. This looks like one of those. Yay, you're the winner! Yay! Okay, we got napkin rings. Napkin rings. We've got this looks like modern random stuff. What modern you, random stuff. There's some random oh here, yeah, listen. Someone offend you hanging a millstone around your neck. No, it's actually a wooden <laughs> carving. <laughs> what? That's actually really cool. That is cool. Wooden oh. bell. Some warped, listen, cruise ship, carnival magic. Carnival magic. Get your award for carnival okay, magic. So that's just kind of randomness. Some of this we may not have numbered. Yeah. But if you still want it, let us know. Old tray. These are like shelf thingies. Huh. Across with praying hands. Boom. That's cool. The Ozarks. That looks cool. It's a cool tray. The Ozark tray. Somebody actually might want that. Branson, Missouri. Branson, Missouri. We better Branson. What's in the box? Oh, wow. That looks cool. Is that a brass handle? Yeah. It's a brass handle. That is really cool looking, Heather. I'm going to put it back in the box. Yeah, can you take the lid off and say, see if there's anything on the bottom of that? Anything there? Japan. There's something that says Japan. I'm upside down, but yeah. Oh. Cool. Here, there. So there. That might mean something to somebody. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, I'm just going to put this back in here. It's cool. Brass handle like that. That's yeah. kind of unique. All right, and then I'm going to come around the table and open this. Got one more case. Yep, this is the last thing. And then we got to get to numbering. Yep, we'll number and we'll be right back in seconds. Ha ha. Ooh. Boy, that's, that's a, a nice fancy, one. fancy camera. It's a Canon. Somebody might want that. Canon AE-1. And then I bet you there's a lens in here. What you want to bet? Wouldn't. Yep. Yep, look at that. Wouldn't shock me. Sometimes these, oh my, sometimes these lenses can be worth a lot of money. There's a Penny on it. Yep, probably yeah. where they got it's it. It's got a lot of stuff in here. What kind of lens is it? Is it? Does it say something? Multi coated optics. H. 55 Hoya. millimeter. Hoya Skylight, Japan. Yep, 55 millimeter. They may want to know that. I don't know. I don't know either. Somebody's going to lose their mind though. Got a lot of camera stuff you got. Yeah. Okay, well, as you can see, the tables are full. We got to get to number, and we'll pick our top five, and then we'll try to number as many other things so it's easier for you. Yeah. So just um, stay tuned. We'll have everything numbered. If you see what you like, tell us the number on the item, and then what you're going to potentially pay for it. But we're going to be right back. All right, we've got everything numbered. So if you want something, you're going to send me an email to hookedonpicking at gmail.com. You give me which number item, and then how much you want to pay for it. And then we'll let you know if you've been outbid or um, if you are currently the winning bid. And we'll keep you updated until noon Central Standard Time, which is an hour prior to the regular uh, auction. If it doesn't get bid on, it will probably show up on the auction tomorrow, as well as a, lot, as a lot of other fun things. Let's go ahead and get started and show you all the things. Look at all that stuff. We numbered it all. We did. We have 102 different items. Okay, that was amazing. So here's number one. So our little kind of metal yeah. type walking people. Number two, number two our is decorative egg. egg. Number three is that camera we just unboxed. It does have that lens in the bottom too. Mm -hmm. Number four is our cool elephant wooden piece. Number five, this is like an inkwell, really heavy duty brass. And we will announce the winners of the first five on tomorrow's sale, 30 exactly. minutes in. Exactly. Number six is a new old stock cook, cook, cookie pastry pressed gotcha couldn't say that all right then we have our different boxes of um dalmatians yep. number seven is this box eight is this box nine is not broken jewelry ten is not broken jewelry number 11 is christmas cups number 12 is our cool wooden rocking horse number 13 is this cool i call it the rainforest snow globe 
Uh, number four. It's a paperweight, not a snow oh, sorry. globe. Sorry, not yeah. a snow globe. Paperweight. Thank yep. you. I said it wrong. Number fourteen, the brass teapot, or not brass, but little metal teapot. I think it's copper. Yeah, you're right. It is copper. I think it's copper. Yeah. Fifteen is our little seal. Sixteen is our kind of ocean egg. It's pretty, isn't it? Seventeen is the set of pheasants. Uh, number eighteen is our pretty white and blue paperweight. Number 19 is our patriotic fish. Number 20 is our cute little rabbit. 21 is the jewelry box and all of its contents. So we'll try to put a piece of bubble wrap in here so it doesn't shake around and get tangled as well. 22, 23, 24, and 25 are all of these brass figurines. So we've got, uh, this is a dog, lion, horse, and unicorn. All right, 26 is this cool guardian percolator coffee pot. Then we've got this guardian service ware. Number 27, 28, and 29 are both paperweights, bird, and cute little bubble under the sea kind of looking thing. These are also Guardian Wear 30 is um, this one with a lid in the good lid, shape. The lid's in good shape, yep. too. Number 31 is this cool pear-shaped dish. Number 32 is the A&W cup. Number 33 is a similar one, comes with handles, but this one has a bit of a crack in it, but it does seal uh, mostly. Number 34 is one of the sets of glass beads. Number 35 is the other set. Number 36 is this Kodak trim light instamatic camera. Number 37 is this guard, Guardian Wear uh, piece platter. This one is the large platter, number 38. Number 39 is one of these uh, without a lid. Number 40 is, what do you call these, a Dutch oven, I think? Type? Kinda, yeah. yeah. does have a little bit of a break there. little crack there. Number 40. Number 41 is a deeper, more of a saucepan type. That's number 41. Number 42 is this size. Number 43, a little bit deeper than that. Number 44 is that little saucepan. And all of these have same lid size. So these all match lid size. So this one, this one, and this one. Number 45 is just a Guardian Wear lid. Number 46 is another little sauce pot pan. This one does have its lid here. Number 47. Number 48 is another one here. This one's a little bit narrower than the ones that had the matching. Number 49 is another odd. Uh, we put thing. this with it. We don't know if it goes with it, but yeah. we put it with it. Number 50 is this Univac thermos. 51 is this Brownie Junior camera. 52 is the Kodak camera with this piece here. Number 53 is the whole Polaroid set with case, satchel case. Number 54 are all of the tubes. Number 55 is this whole jewelry box along with the two drawers filled with items. Number 56 and 57 are two bags of broken jewelry. You're going to bid per bag. Number 58 is this Dr. Drake's for coughs. Number 59 is the old-fashioned corkscrew. Number 60 is the set of spoons. Number 61 is this bare uh, mold with all the accessories that were in the box with it. Number 62 and 63, this is a vase and this is a cute um, seal. Number 64, 65, 66, and 67, the glass heart and all the little figurines there. And number 67 is both of the wolves together. 68 is this craft, really cool. Bicentennial. Bicentennial. 69 is this napkin holder, cast iron. 70 is the cute little kind of oriental looking teapot. 71 is the beautiful red paperweight. 72 is the three can um, nesting cans with a cool scene on it. 73, cool little old medicine bottle. 74 is the cast iron elephant hook. 75 is the mermaid wall hanging, cast iron as well. Number 76, this has an enamel handle, cool little teapot. Number 77, bud vase. Number 78, the Liberty Bell. Number 79, I believe that's a bone or a stone. I think it's bone. Is it like a toothpick holder or a pill holder? Probably. Something toothpick like that. Holder yeah. is probably Number 80 it. is a cast iron handle, a metal cast iron handle holder. And I'm not sure what it's for. Number 81 is the Kennedy half dollar set complete. Number 82 and 83 are both heart paperweights. Number 84 is this cream and sugar set. Number 85 is the sand art with the mountains. Number 86 is this whittled little cowboy with dog. Uh, number 87 is the old school navigation system. Number 88 is the wooden kind of clacker, I will call it. 
Number 89 is the bucket organizer. 90 is the old school duct taped axe mallet pickaxe. Weapon of end times. Yes, weapon of end times. Yes. Number 91 is the whole set of decorative brushes. Number 92, this is a wooden handle, but it's a plastic lid, but a thicker plastic. Kind of a cupcake or um, display thing. Trivet. Um, number 93, old school Coca-Cola um, tray. Number 94, you get the two plates and the bowl. Number 95, napkin rings. Number 96 is the clown clacker toy. Number 97 is this beautiful brass handled teapot with lid. Number 98 is this beautiful candlesticks. Number 99 is the Beatles book. Number 100 is the Ozarks cool tray. Number 101 is the set of two candle holders. Um, it does have melted candle wax in there. You can just clean it out. And number 102, of course, we're going to end with Jesus and praying hands. All right, so thanks so much. If you want any of these things, send it to hookedonpicking at gmail.com. Um, the, uh, the email is right at the top of the description. We're going to be watching those emails come flooding in. We'll let you know if you've been outbid. How much, so let us know which number you want and the price you want on that number. All right, thanks so much for joining us. And of course, remember in the end, Jesus wins. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. If you'd like to watch more of my videos, just click on them here. And if you'd like to learn more about the reseller world, subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Thanks.